Hi, my name is Darcy Pickering and I teach elementary and middle school orchestra. Today I'm going to show you how to tune the string instruments using the Korg CA1 chromatic tuner. So the violin has four strings. The highest is E and then going down is A, D, and G. The violin strings are connected at two different points. Up here are the tuning pegs, which we use to do large adjustments on the strings. And down here are the fine tuners, which we use to do smaller adjustments. My violin only has one fine tuner, but most student models will have four, which will make tuning much easier. When you're turning the tuning pegs, you want to be very careful not to turn the tuning peg too fast, because you will risk breaking the string. So when we tune a violin, we always start with the A string. And the goal is to make the needle on the tuner end up right in the middle and have the green light come on. So as you can see, my A string is very flat. So what I need to do is use my A string tuner and turn it to make the A string higher. So after I've tuned the A string, I'm going to move on to the the string next to it, the D string. And this string is also flat, so I'm going to, use, again, use my tuning peg to turn the string a little higher. Now at this point, I've gotten the strings fairly close. So at this point, I like to take the A and the D string and play them together and listen for the fifth. And that's when I make just final adjustments. So next I'm moving on to the G string. And the final string to tune is the E string. Now this string is a little bit high, but it's not too high, so I'm only going to use the fine tuner. Um, what you want to do is tune the string actually below the pitch and then arrive back up at the pitch. As a final check, you're going to want to go back and check all the strings one more time, because sometimes adjusting the other strings can cause the A string to go out of tune. And that's tuning the violin.